Hey guys, I'm Desto with Test Bros. And if you ever hit us up or message us, you're typically talking to me. And today I wanna to show you one of my favorite products and it also happens to be one of our best sellers, which is the Pillar Delete. I think it is a great way to make your car stand out from the fleet while also not like breaking the bank at a wrap shop. Um, we create DIY kits where you can do this yourself. Everything is pre-cut. It comes with all the materials you need to install it. And it comes with a video guide so you can follow us step by step. So the Pillar Delete comes in three pieces on each side. So we have a, um, a front part right here to follow the body line. It comes back and follows the um, long pillar. And then at the very end, it follows the window trim corner. So I'm gonna kind of show you how to install it and also go over like common issues that I see in customer support. So we designed and test this in here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, the reason why we test so much is because we want to make sure that this isn't just something that pros can do. We want to make sure that people who have no experience with vinyl can also install this themselves. This specific one we're using is satin black. The reason why I chose satin black is because it matches the OEM trims on Model 3s. Um, and we use Avery Denison vinyl, which is just a high quality vinyl that lasts up to seven years. And as I wasn't expecting it, I see that this doesn't line up with the um, mirror right here. So the great thing about vinyl, it is very forgiving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just rip it up carefully, obviously. And then I'm gonna get my heat gun. Um, so I'm gonna heat this and what it's gonna do is if it had like, um, if I had wrinkles in it, like kind of like this, um, or if I stretched it. So you'll see that as I heated it, it kind of conformed back to its original state. And that's what I love about vinyl. It's very forgiving. So I'm gonna go and install this again. There we go. And say that you tried this a few times and then the vinyl is unusable, um, then you can just hit me up at support at testrose.com and we do offer free replacements. So this is the piece that I see people have the most issues with. So we designed this kit to follow this body line right here. So you'll see that it's not actually curved. So if I place the pillar right here, it, if I put it flat, it goes like that. And some people um, think that it is designed wrong. It's actually designed so that you follow this curve and that makes sure that there's no wrinkles um, that come up after you know a few months or so and that it's just like a smooth finish. So I'm going to show you my favorite way to install this. Um, I like to start at the beginning. I suggest that for everyone. So this part's pretty easy. You just get this aligned corner to corner and you're going to have a little bit of overlap on each or you're gonna have a little bit of excess on each side. Um, that's normal, that's so that you can tuck it in and then I get this whole first part down. And then from here, we have section pieces so you can install in sections. Um, so I'll take off the second one. Um, actually, I'll start from this side. Um, and the reason why we have these sections is so that it's an easier install and you don't stretch as much, um, which could cause issues with it narrowing out towards the end. And so from here, I like to follow this bottom line. So I'll just make sure that there's a little bit of overlap right here and I'll squeegee down, I usually tip, use my hands, but I'll squeegee down this bottom part, but I'll leave the top half and I save that for last. And so now that this bottom is squeegee down, I'm going to take off this next section. And basically repeat that process. That might be a little too much excess. Oh no, that's fine. I repeat that process and only squeegee down the bottom. And then I just keep moving in sections. And the reason I suggest doing it this way is that if you squeegee it all down at once and then you get to the end and realize there's issues, um, then you have to rip it all back up and it could cause issues. So I like to only squeegee down half of it. Um, that way it's a lot easier if you have any mistakes that you need to fix. Then we're just following that squeegeeing half. And you'll see that um, it is following the body curve pretty easily. Um, obviously, I've installed this multiple times, but I think that um, after you get half of it down, it's pretty much becomes natural.
We do have a video where G explains the difference between DIY installs and pro installs. If you're interested in that, you can check out that video. And then as we get to this back, I'm just going to align it. You'll see that we have a little bit of excess. Um, at some point during this install, I guess I did stretch it a little bit. Um, and that's the thing, sometimes you don't realize that you're stretching the vinyl. Um, it can be so easy to do it without even noticing until you get to the back and you have excess, which this is fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open the trunk and then fold this over um, and it should be fine. So now that we have the whole bottom squeegeed and I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks um, in the um, end of it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the front and then squeegee down and go back. Um, so right here, we have bubbles, um, which um, are pretty easy to get out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply pressure and get it out, and then I'm going to just squeegee down again. Um, and then we do recommend um, to get a perfect install, to get a hair dryer. And once all of this is installed, before you tuck in the edges, go back over it with heat. And if you have any air bubbles that you may have missed, you can do that same thing um, before you seal the edges. And one thing about stretching that could make it worse is if you install outside, heat stretches vinyl. And you saw how easy it was for me to stretch this in a temperature controlled garage. Um, and so when you install outside, you have more um, of a risk of stretching with the heat and then also getting debris under the vinyl, which is really hard to get out. So we do recommend installing in a garage or somewhere that is temperature controlled. One of my main goals here is to make sure that you feel confident to be able to install this yourself. So I really hope this helped. If it did, make sure you subscribed. I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished and I'm gonna show you the end results, but I'll see you next time.